Stonerar FC on YouTube, sponsored by GT Mortgages. He's got to be happy with that, Stevie. It's good, it's good professional performance. Uh, we asked them for that before the game. We knew today was about us and about how we applied ourselves. And that's no disrespect to Spartans, but there was an expectation that we should win the game. And, uh, and I told them that before the game, and we did. And we won it professionally, and it was a professional job done. And again, plenty of goals. Again, not, not all different scorers, but Matty Yates come on and got a couple of four different goal scorers. He's been threatening for a couple of weeks, Matty, to, to score. Do you know, his movement's really good. He gets into goal scoring positions, and I was delighted for him. Do you know, to score your first competitive uh, first team goal is special for any kid. Uh, but then to go and score again is uh, it puts icing on the cake, and it's a good way to finish a year for him. Uh, and he's deserved that. So, you know, I was delighted with other goal scorers as well, you know, Scouts uh, and, 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 and Duff. Duff does what he does, and we expect him to score. That's why we played him today. Something I thought we should have rest, rested him with. When a number nine scoring goals, the last thing he wants to be done is rested. So we knew that that momentum was important for him. So for him to keep scoring and then Scouts uh, pops up at the back post as well. So delighted. And any worries about Duffy good off early? Was it just no, it was just precaution. He was just tight, so there was no there was no need to risk him whatsoever. So we took him off, and he'll be fine. And in terms of going through, what would you look for in the next round? Home tight, home tight, and then we'll uh, we'll take what we get. We'll take what we get. I don't want to be disrespectful for any team in the heart. We just want a home tie. And whoever that is, we'll prepare accordingly and, and make sure we try and go and get through the next round again. And is it a nice headache to have you all these guys in the bench who come on and all look determined to force their way into the team? Of course it is. Of course it is. But that's do you know what, um, that's the reason we're on this run because the people that are in the team are looking over our shoulder, see who's sitting in the stand. And I say that you know you, the the most successful teams. Anywhere, at any division, in any league, I've got a squad, and, and this year we've got a squad. So uh, I've said that for day one, and that's what's that's what's churning out results in competitive competition for places, and long may it continue. We were saying coming into to January, obviously transfer window opening. It's perhaps the first time since you've been here as manager that you're not massively looking to, to strengthen the squad. Obviously, you'll always be looking for for something, but there's not the we need this, we need that straight away. No, you're right. You're right, Cameron. It's uh, it's 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 a good position to be as a manager. You're quite content with what you've got in terms of your squad. Like you say, if something becomes available, and, and you know, you never know. Players may come to us. Or agents may have players that's no been playing may come to us. But that's what happens. But we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that. We've uh, we've got one or two people that we're we're looking at and keeping an eye on in, in terms of you know both with it that we're, we're current squad and, and potential should we're current squad come and ask us a question then to potential people who we may go and ask that question to uh, likewise so but no I'm quite if everybody stays here in January I'll be absolutely delighted.